Hello and welcome to a Lightning Tools screencast with me Phil Duffy. Today I'll be showing you how to add filters using BCS Metaman. Okay, so what I've done is I've used BCS Metaman to generate my entity. So we have our entity here on the design surface and we also have the entity and the entity service classes generated for us. So to be able to add a filter we can just right click on the entity go to manage entity and we'll be looking at the methods tab so if we change to the methods tab and click on the find a method we'll see here we now have a dialog where we can go in and add our filter so we'll do a wildcard filter to begin with so we'll change this filter to name to product name and we'll just do a wildcard on the name and if we just put bike for example and click on save and we can see this filters been created for us now what happens when we click save this will automatically update the code for us so if we have a look at our finder method we now have a parameter for the name and it now matches the filter for name so what we can do we can just press F5 and this will deploy so what I'll do now is I'll just pause the video when it's deployed I'll show you how it, this filter will behave okay so now we have our web part set up with the AdventureWorks products external content type so if we type in a contains for mountain retrieve the data I've stuck a breakpoint in so what this should do is step into the code so what we have in here is a filter matching so we can see we've typed in mountain because it's a contains it's got the asterisk at either side so this will step through into our appropriate method so if the product name contains and that'll be mountain then this will bring back the results for us again if we just change this to starts with and we can type in something like all for example so again this should step into our code so that's done starts with all purpose and there we go. That is how you can use filters for BCS Metaman.